And in fact, uh, many univariate tests, univariate means no regression form of test, t-test is one of them, and come with non-parametric test. So instead of log transforming data, you might directly compute these two medians. And to do that, and we will proceed to perform uh, Wilcoxon rank sum test. Okay, so let's uh, talk about non parametric test of Wilcoxon rank sum test comparing two medians. And um, in t test, as you remember, t test uh, compute the ratio of actual average, right? Average between the two groups as a numerator, and then denominator would be a standard error of those um, difference in averages. So using a mean and standard error, instead of doing that, and here, we'll cook some rank sum test, use the ranks of data. So this is hypothetical data. And uh, let's see, um, you have six patients, and they survived in hospital. And you have another six patients who died in hospital. And you have a total hospital cost, unit is 1,000. Uh, so this is $300,000, and you have this as outcome. So you want to compare median of these two groups, okay? And uh, many non-parametric tests and use ranking of data. So what you do is uh, you rank this 12 uh, data points from lowest to the highest. So 20 is lowest, you rank as 1. 51 is second lowest, you rank as 2. And uh, 90 is the third lowest, you rank as 3. And you repeat this to the highest points of 954, that's rank 12th. Okay? And then uh, you compute some of the rank within group one, survived group, and some of the ranks within disease group. Okay? And then you compare these two some of the ranks. Okay. And uh, if survived patient, disease patient have higher total hospital cost, and ranking should be higher. So you actually compute the p-value comparing um, some of the ranks between two groups. So in this example, 40 and 38 is not a large enough difference, so p-value might be large. Um, okay, so that's why you know, we call this as rank sum test. You rank data first, Within each group, you compute some of the ranks. Okay, so good thing about using rank is um, ranking is very robust about data distribution. So let's say if you have total hospital cost um, and this survived in disease group, and this is an outlier majority have a smaller value. Okay. And similarly here, you have one or two or three outlier. Okay. And if you rank from a lowest to highest here, this would be number one, and this could be, let's say, uh, 150th. 150th. Okay? And when you have an outlier, and this value is 150 rank, right? But when you don't have an outlier, let's say, instead of having this outlier, and you have data here, okay? And then this is the highest, and you it at 100, 150th uh, ranking. So as you see, uh, how big is outlier does not really depends on, does not really change ranks of data. Okay, so therefore using ranks and um, results are more robust 
for outlier and i.e. shape of data a data distribution and on the other hand t-test use mean or standard deviation standard error right standard error is based on standard deviation and those are uh, highly influenced by outlier so the results are valid only when you have normally distributed data although uh, any test using ranks and uh, it does ranking doesn't depends on shape or distribution of data and therefore we call it non-parametric it's a distribution free statistics distribution free means you can go ahead to use non-parametric test and for normally distributed data so in fact, in my practice, and I don't use t-test, I use Wilcoxon ransom test all the time because it's also valid for normally distributed data. And using non-parametric data is distribution-free, so we don't have to worry about uh, distribution of each variable to decide what test we should be using. Instead, you, use, you can use non-parametric test for everything, okay? And I'll later show you how to do this in R, like when you do Wilcox and Ranksum tests in R. And here is a p-value, which is less than 0.05. So we use this as evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we might indicate there is a difference uh, between the two groups. So when you do non-parametric tests, and it's usually, we usually put the median value. So you can say total hospital cost is 40, which was it? 47, 47080 dollar in deceased and um, and it was 727437 27437 and survived survived patient and then difference was statistically significant, P less than, oh, you better not to say less than P equal, you better to put exact value of P value, um, in this case 0 0.00026.